A very good afternoon to one and all present here. Today, we group 4 are going to present on the topic of lexical analysis. Now, our group consists of 4 members, Payal Das, Shomo Ghosh, Rupankar Ghoshal and Chomdeep Sarda. Now, on to the next period slide, please. Okay, compilers. Well, compiler is basically a program that takes a program written in a source language which is basically a high level programming language and translates it into an equivalent programming language that is a sub that is a machine code as we can see in the diagram below that the compiler is converting the source program which is normally written in a high level language and changing it into a machine code moving on to our next slide that is lexical analyzer a lexical analyzer reads the source program character by character and returns the tokens of the source program. Here, the token is basically, it describes a pattern of characters having same meaning in the source program, such as identifiers, operators, keywords, etc. Now, the lexical analyzer also puts information about the identifiers into the symbol table. The regular expressions are used to describe the tokens or lexical constructs and a deterministic finite state automaton can be used in the implementation of a lexical analyzer. As we can see in an example that new val polon equals to old val uh, plus 12, where uh, the tokens are new val, which is an identifier, and this is the assignment operator. The old val is also an identifier. The plus is the add operator or the addition operator, and the 12 is a number. Uh, <coughs> Here, the lexical analyzer takes uh, the reads the characters, converts it into a token, and sends it through the syntax analyzer, which asks for the token and puts back extra character into the input. Now, moving on to our next slide. Example one. Here, we will have to count the number of tokens. So, as we can see, there are total twenty-seven tokens. Uh, the sum is is present uh, inside the uh, double quotation and we take the double quotation the all the things that are present inside the double quotation as one <coughs> so it is counted as one now int uh, to if we count that int is one uh, token and main is one token and the two brackets are two tokens now uh, int a int is also a token a is also a token equals to is also operator which is also a token <coughs> uh, then there is 10 comma which is also a token b equals to 20 these are all tokens and semicolon is also a token so if we count the total number of tokens comes as 27 now i would like to invite my teammate to continue with the same thank you sir good afternoon everyone so I will be moving forward with the example number 2 that is example of a lexical analysis tokens, non-tokens etc. Now consider the following code that is fed to a lexical analyzer that is uh, this code which is written uh, on the left side of the presentation. So uh, as my friend told a token is a group of characters having a collective meaning typically a word or a punctuation mark separated by a lexical analyzer and passed to a person. Now, I will be talking about what is lexeme. A lexeme is an actual character sequence forming a specific instance of a token. So, we can see that here, uh, first of all, uh, in a tabular format, we have written down the lexemes and their corresponding tokens. First lexeme is int, second one is maximum, then the bracket comes then again in then cross that is multiplication uh, sorry that is x plus in y then break brackets and lastly t so here total number of tokens is 11 and example of non tokens are comment preprocessor directive pre uh, macros white space etc now i'll be uh, over to you shomo Thank you, Rupankar. <laughs> the next question is a gate question of uh, 2018. It's a very interesting question that a lexical analyzer uses the pattern to recognize the T1, T2, and T3. The T1, T2, and T3 are the similar patterns, 
or with the clean closure uh, input note that this 0 and 1 concept this 0 and 1 concept are very interesting they are used as a switch means if we use a 0 then the first a become invisible and then in the second case it become uh, visible so after we find this or apply this switch operation we uh, find the interesting operations like t1 t2 and t3 with two of the equations in an addition form then finally when we solve it we have to uh, take the input as b b a a c a b c when according uh, with this given example or the uh, mcq answer first answer t1 t2 and t3 when we take or compile we see that they accept the string but they are not the shortest part then what we do with uh, hit and try method we find that the last option t3 and t3 they form the uh, shortest answer by dividing this uh, string into b b a a c with a uh, concatenation of a b and c how this uh, c define that c has a c at the end and c has a c in the beginning so it find the prominent answer that c is equal to c3 over to you from this The question is that lexical analysis in compiler design identify tokens. In this uh, statement, we will have to read this statement and uh, identify the, uh, the tokens. So let's begin with lexical, which is an identifier, and then next is analyze, analysis, which is also an identifier. In is another identifier. Compiler is another identifier. We have design, which is another uh, identifier. The comma acts as a separator. Identify is uh, one other uh, one identifier tokens is also an identifier and last we have a uh, full stop which is a separator so as we have seen if we count we will get that the, uh, there are nine to tokens in total in the uh, given stream of characters finally i would like to conclude by stating that lexical analysis is the first phase of a compiler it takes modified source code, source code that are written in the form of sentences the lexical analyzer breaks these syntaxes into a series of tokens by removing any white space or comments in the source code. If the lexical analyzer finds a token invalid, it generates an error. The lexical analyzer works closely with the syntax analyzer. It reads character strings from the source code, checks for legal tokens, and passes the data to the syntax analyzer when it demands. Finally, these are the refer some references which we have used while preparing our presentation. Uh, hope you have liked our presentation, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Very good presentation.